Hello, this video serves as an introduction to the Pair Pro to Teacher program at Gordon State College. Gordon is a state college in the University System of Georgia, which is part of the public colleges in Georgia. We were founded in 1852 and our main campus is located in Barnesville, Georgia, which is about 60 miles south of Atlanta. We are accredited by SACS, which is the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools. We started our traditional elementary education program back in 2007, and then we started our Pair Pro to Teacher track, which is very similar to the elementary education program, in 2020. Here is a map of the University System of Georgia schools, and you can see that Gordon's located just about in the center of the state. Who is this Pair Pro to Teacher program really designed for? It's designed for those who are currently working in K-12 environments as a pair professional in some capacity. Um, it works better if you are in a K-5 setting, but we have had people um, in middle or secondary uh, Pair Pro settings go through the program. The Pair Pro to Teacher program is a bachelor program, so you would need your associate course coursework completed before you start it. Many students transfer that in. If you don't have that um, already in place, you can complete the associate credits with us before you start the program. This program is designed for those who want to become a Georgia Certified Teacher since we are approved by the Professional Standards Commission, which is what grants that certification. This program is also specifically designed for working pair professionals because the coursework is in an online format while the field experiences are done within the classroom and the school system in which you work. By completing the bachelor program uh, through the Pair Porta Teacher track, you will have earned a Bachelor of Science in Elementary Education. You will also have a Georgia Teacher Certification in the area of Elementary Education and Special Education General Curriculum. Having both of these, you will be employable as a teacher in a K-5 public school setting. Um, however, many of our students choose to work in private schools or other educational related institutions. Keep in mind, if you plan to teach in another state other than Georgia, you are going to want to consult that state's transfer um, articulation process to transfer your certification. So what are the main steps that you need to complete this program? So in this case, we're looking at it um, in a big picture format. So to begin, after watching this video and deciding you do want to complete this program, you want to get admitted to Gordon State College. You'll do that by applying on our website. Once you are accepted, you'll need to complete your associate degree work, and we call these your pre-courses. Um, some of you may transfer that information already in, some of you may transfer some of that in and need to finish up um, some of it with us, and some of you may not have any college credit and need to do all of those pre-courses with us. Um, so this is going to be different based upon the person and what they are transferring in. Once you've completed all of the pre-courses, then you would apply specifically to the education program. This involves a specific application as well as some disposition and recommendation forms. In addition to that, you do want to complete the GACE Educator Ethics, which is number 360. This is something that is done for the state via the Professional Standards Commission. This is not a requirement just for Gordon. It's for any college offering um, a, a certification program. Now, you may see in different places um, in, in old documentation that uh, there was a requirement for a program admission exam which had a reading, writing, or math portion. As of now, that is no longer required, so only the GACE ethics is required. After you have completed all of your paperwork as well as completed your educator ethics, you will be able to begin the education program. Before beginning the education program, you and your principal be, will be asked to sign a MOU, which is basically a contract between you and your principal, um, with the principal allowing you to complete your field work within the school system where you are employed. The education program itself takes two years to complete. You'll start in fall, then you'll go fall, spring, summer, fall, spring, with your student teaching being that last spring, and you'll be graduating after you complete that um, semester.
Around the time that you're getting ready to graduate, probably the semester before or the, the last semester in the program, you're going to want to complete the GAYS subject area exam. For your specific subject area, you're going to be taking the GAYS elementary special education general curriculum exam. That is what grants you the state licensure. So at that point, you will have earned your bachelor's degree from Gordon and will be graduating with it. You will have taken and passed your gay subject area exam in elementary special education general curriculum, which allows you to be a certified teacher. And then now um, you're able to begin work as a certified teacher in a public school system. So what are those pre-courses that we're talking about? So these are courses that you complete before starting the education program. Now, if you have college credit elsewhere, you may be transferring some of these credits in. It's very important, however, that when you apply to Gordon, you make sure to send official transcripts from every college you have attended. And you do that by going to the registrar's um, website of the college that you attended, and you should be able to find somewhere on there to send an official transcript. Oftentimes, these are sent electronically to where you fill out a form online and it the college will electronically send your transcript over to Gordon. And you can just send it to our admissions department, which is admissions at Gordon State. Edu. Also, when you are fully accepted into the education program, it's important that you email us and let us know that you've been accepted, and that will uh, allow us to go in and look at the courses that you have transferred in and make a plan for any pre-courses that you might still have left to take. These pre-courses can be completed on our Barnesville campus, on our McDonough site, um, as well as online. And you can complete these during the fall, spring, and summer semesters. They are not in a cohort format, so you can pick and choose how many you want to complete. So just as a general overview, you'll have an two English courses to complete, which is a Composition 1 and a Composition 2. You'll have a math class to complete. Most people complete things like math modeling, college algebra, quantitative skills and reasoning. You'll have a colloquium to take. Now the FIRE course, the Freshman Introduction to Reasoning Essentials, that is omitted if you are transferring in 12 or, 12 or more credit hours. So if you're a brand new student, you would need to take it, but if you are transferring in at least a handful of classes, you actually do not have to take it. Then you'll also need to take an upper level English that can be British American world literature or perhaps um, a philosophy or ethics class. And then you'll want to choose a humanities course. Oftentimes people take public speaking. You might also take art appreciation, music appreciation, Spanish, theater appreciation, or a humanities course. In addition, you'll be asked to complete two lab science courses. A lot of times people complete Biology 1 and Biology 2, but you could mix it up and do Biology 1 and Geology 1, or Astronomy 1, or Physics or Chemistry. Then you'll have an extra math or lab science course to complete. This is three credit hours, so it can be a lab science, uh, a science without a lab, or an extra math class. You might complete computer programming, introduction to statistics, or another science course. Then you'll need to complete two history courses. One will be a Western Civilization or World History. The other will be an American History course. Then you'll have an option of two courses in a social science area. Most of our students take Introduction to Psychology as well as Introduction to Sociology. However, some choose to take Introduction to Political Science or American Government. You could also choose an Economics class if you want to or an Anthropology. Next, you would have your Area F courses, which are specific to Gordon State College and the education program. So if you've been at another University System of Georgia school, you may have taken these courses. Um, it may be that you have taken these courses elsewhere at a non-USG school. They just might have to be petitioned to count. If you were not an education major, though, with your prior credits, more than likely you haven't taken these classes. There are the three Education Foundation courses, which is 21, 10, 20, and 30. Then you have a Foundations of Numbers course, which is how to teach math to students. And then you have two science courses, which is um, Earth, sci Earth and Life Science as well as Physical Science. And these are known as the ISCI courses, and they are how to teach science to students. 
Lastly, you'll have two physical education requirements. One is a health course. You can take either PHED 1001 or 1010. And then you'll have a one credit physical PE class to take. And you might choose pace walking, aerobics, jogging, first aid. Um, there's a variety of options that you have and you just need to take one. Again, it's very important that when you get accepted to Gordon that you make sure to send official transcripts over from every college that you have attended so that we can give you maximum credit for the courses you've already taken elsewhere. In addition to completing the pre-courses, what else is required to getting accepted into the education program? So you do want to have the certain GPA. You do want to go ahead and apply to the education program, usually a semester or so before you plan to start. And that involves completing recommendation forms, disposition forms, as well as the GACE Educator Ethics. Remember it is number 360. There is a fee for this and it is very similar to an online course. Keep in mind this is independent of Gordon State and required for any program offering teacher certification. And then of course, um, when you are applying to the education program, you do want to make sure that you are currently employed as a pair pro in a public school sitting, setting, preferably being in a K-5 environment. What should you expect when starting the education program? So first of all, this program is full time, so you are taking at least five classes a semester. Now it's up to you how many classes you want to take for the pre-courses, but once you actually do start the program, you do um, take the courses in a sequence and you, do are, you are a full time student at that point. The coursework itself is completely online. The program is in a cohort format, which means you start as a group and stay as a group. This also means that you cannot skip semesters or pick and choose classes to take. Um, you are required to take summer courses between your junior and senior year in the program. You're also required to complete field experiences every semester, um, and this is where the MOU with your principal comes into play, and uh, that MOU is allowing you to complete your field experiences in the school um, system in which you are employed. So this is what the field experiences look like, um, and the, this is what we've been approved uh, to to use as part of our program. So your first semester in the program, which will be your first fall in your junior year, you'll be in a kindergarten or first grade classroom and you'll be doing 100 hours of field work. Your next semester, which will be that spring semester, you'll be in a second or third grade classroom also doing 100 hours of field work. Over the summer, you don't have field experiences, you just have your online courses. Come the next year, your senior year, in that fall session, you're going to be doing a fourth or fifth grade class, um, and that will be 100 hours. And then that last semester will be your, sec your uh, senior year, that will be your student teaching, and you'll be doing 600 hours. So keep in mind the student teaching is pretty much all day, every day. The other practicums prior to that are just 100 hours, so that's just a couple of hours a week because our uh, semesters are spread out usually over 12 to 15 weeks. So again, that MOU is signed once you are accepted into the education program. It's signed by you and your principal. And it is an agreement to let you complete your field hours in the specific grade levels that you are already employed, if you are employed in one of those grade levels, as well as to complete your field, out, uh, your field hours in the specified grade levels in a partnership school in the case that your school where you currently are employed does not have those specified grade levels. So here's an example. Say that you are a pre-K uh, pair pro right now and you're in a pre-K through second grade school. So your principal would have to agree to let you your first semester go into a K or 1 classroom, which may already be in your school. The next semester, he or she would need to allow you to go into a second or third grade classroom, which second would be ideal because that would still be in your school building. Come the next year, you'll be in a fourth or fifth grade setting, however, so your teacher's going or your principal's going to have to allow you to go and do your 100 hours in another school building that offers the fourth and fifth grade classrooms. And then you can go and student teach in any classroom where you like. Um, a, a lot of people will choose to go back to a setting where they've always been and definitely in the school building where they are currently employed. Keep in mind that these must be in public school settings and you cannot student teach in a pre-K environment. 
So what classes will I be taking in the education program? Keep in mind that these are online classes while you're doing your field hours in the school where you were employed. So the first fall semester, um, you notice that you'll have a LARC class, a SPED class, some education courses, and a math course. If you notice every semester, pretty much you have at least one math course, which is how to teach math to students, one LART course, which is literature course, which how to teach reading to students, and then some type of education course. Notice in green you have your professionalism courses. Those are your field experiences. So you actually are getting college credit for your field experiences. That last semester in the program, that last spring, notice that you don't have many, as many online courses, um, college courses to complete. Mainly it is your student teaching. So now that you've learned about the program, what do you need to do? First of all, you want to go ahead and apply to Gordon, and you'll do that on our website. And after you send in your application, you do want to make sure to go ahead and send any um, official transcripts in that you might have from other colleges. And you can send them to admissions at gordonstate.edu. When you are completing the application, please make sure to pick the elementary education pair pro to teacher pathway. You should see elementary education traditional program as well. In this case, you're choosing the pair pro to teacher. Once you get accepted to um, Gordon State College, make sure to reach out to the Education Department to let them know that you are ready to register. From there, we will make a plan for the pre-courses that you still need to take. If you don't have any pre-courses left to take, we'll go ahead and send you the information to get started to applying to the Education Program. Here is a quick tutorial of our webpage and how you can find some important information. So to apply to the college, you would just want to come to our website, which is gordonstate.edu, and choose Apply Now at the top. From here, you would want to create an account. So choose here to create your account, and then you would go ahead and apply to the program. Remember to choose Elementary Education Pair Pro to Teacher Track. Another great resource of information would be to use this search box and to type in Pair Pro to Teacher. This will pull the main web page, which will provide you information about the Pair Pro to Teacher program. So it tells you what degree you'll earn from this track, who is this track designed for, the courses that you'll be completing, what it's like within the program, the grade bands that you'll be completing your field work in, as well as the information required to start the program. At the bottom, there's a program overview video, as well as some steps once you have been accepted into the college. So once you have been accepted into Gordon, you'll want to come to this page, and here's some orientation information. It explains to you how to set up your Banner Web and Gordon email accounts, how to complete the e-learning tutorial, how to get registered for classes, how to pay for your classes how to access your online courses beginning uh, the first day of class online, as well as how to submit petitions if we encourage you to do so based upon our review of your courses. Also, here's how to find your books online, as well as preparation material for applying to the education program when it is time. But again, the first thing you mainly want to do at this point is choose Apply Now and Apply to Gordon State, as well as send in those official transcripts.